Now we're going to take a look at quizzes, a website for teachers to create fun and exciting quizzes for the classroom or also for homework at home. Uh, quizzes can be used on any device and it's free. All you need to do is create a login, which they've already done. Teachers can create their own quizzes in the create button, but we'll come back to that in a moment. Or they can choose from pre-existing quizzes, which is excellent if you're short on time. So as you can see, there are many many quizzes to choose from. If you're looking for something specific, you can type it in this box what you're looking for. You can choose your grade level depending on what grade you're making your quiz for. So we will create our own quiz. Since this is just an example for an ESL class, we'll just call it Justice Quiz because it's my quiz. And since it's just a practice one, we're going to make it private, but you can also keep it public so then other teachers can use your quiz in the future if they're running short on time or just think it's really great and want to use it. And then we'll add an image. We'll just have it say quiz, but you can have your image be whatever you want it to be. Go along with whatever your quiz is about. So now we can start our quiz. You can create as many questions as you want. You can change the time. You go anywhere from 15 seconds to 15 minutes. We'll just stick with the original 30 seconds, that sounds good. And you can change the color, we'll go with blue. And for our first question, we'll ask, what is the opposite of happy? And we'll put our correct answer here, and we'll say the opposite of happy is sad. Aww. And then we'll change it to correct, because that's the answer we're looking for. So then we want to put ones that are the same as happy, so we'll add in joyful. We'll add in cheerful and hmm, let's add in pleased. Oops. And of course that one turned blue, but you just go back and it'll change. Back to the original color. Okay. And then if you want to add an image, you can do so. So we'll do this one because it's happy, it's sad, it's happy, it's sad. Okay, and this is our first question. This is our preview. Now, the picture won't actually be right behind the words. It'll be below it, but you have your pictures, you have your question, you have your different choices. So let's make a new question. And again, if you want this one to be a little quicker or a little slower, we can change the time for this one alone. We'll make this one red. Nope, I keep doing that. We'll make this one red. And for our question number two, we'll ask, what does infant mean? Okay, and we'll come down here and we'll say infant means baby. And then we'll, oh, and then it's our correct one, so we'll change it to correct. And then we'll add in, I'm gonna make them all red. And then we'll add in our other words. So adult does not mean infant, so we'll put that there, make this one red as well. And we'll say teenager because that's also not a baby. And for our last option, make red. And we'll say add. Adolescent. And then we have all our here and we see our different colors, which is nice. And then we'll add an image because it's always fun. And here we go. Right, it's a baby. It's good for ESL because then they have the picture with the two, so it helps a little bit. And again, you can add as many questions as you want. I think two is fine for our purposes now, so we're going to be finished. And it wants to know our grade. So we'll say third grade to fifth grade. Where is our site? We'll say English. And we're finished and create our quiz. Oh, topic, right. We'll say vocabulary because that sounds close to what we were doing. And here we are, we see our quiz, the original image I put up there, a bunch of different things we can do with it. And we have our question, we have our options, we have our question, we have our options, and we also see in the sides how long we made it for. So once you're done, if you decide you don't actually like how it looks, you can go back and switch it, it's very easy. And you can also click on it, and this is how it'll come up so the students see it. And then they'll all click there. It'll come up with the screen. It's very, very simple. Unfortunately, I don't have a class to have them take this quiz, so they'll just have to trust me on it. But when you hit play, it'll come up. Students would go there and enter the code, and they would have their quiz in front of them. And then once you're done and everyone's taken your quiz, Okay, you can come over to my reports. I'm going to see the quiz we just made. 
You can see the quiz I made earlier. And you can delete them. You can change them around if maybe you want to give it again. And you can see the percentage of how many people got them right, how people did. You can view it. Okay, and you can see each question. And it'll come up with what each of your students did because they'll all have their own logins that connect to yours. It's a good way to track it. And you can see if a lot of people got one question wrong, maybe go over that a little bit more. And the last thing we'll go over about quizzes that's a little bit different from most other apps I've seen is the my memes part. So you can create your own memes, like I made some over here, or you can click on the side and you hit create. And what this does is, we'll just keep them private for our purposes now, just as memes. And what you can do with your memes is you can create them for when you get a correct answer, one will pop up. When you get an incorrect answer, a different one will pop up. Obviously, you don't want to make them mean or anything, but they're just a fun little thing to put at the end. And you can use ones that are already public or already out there, or you can create your own, which is nice because you can use it uh, based on your school and make it a little more personal, which is great. And they also have the option of avatars and to add music to it if we want to add a little more excitement. So quizzes is fun. It's exciting. Gets the students revved up to learn. The only downside is if you do have students that have special needs, uh, say they need more time. Unfortunately, they haven't found a way to work on that yet, but you'll know how to use it based on your class and everything like that. So thank you.